This is the answer key for writing formulas and naming compounds number two. This is the one of the largest assignments we have for this unit, so I'm going to go much faster through this. We have to classify each name or formula as being ionic or covalent. This sheet does not specifically have a space for ionic or covalent, but we should still do that. That's how we've been practicing. Please recall that ionics are going to be metals to a nonmetal or three or more atoms in each formula. Covalence will be uh, a nonmetal stuck to a nonmetal. So, uh, going down the left hand side of part one, number one's ionic, two is ionic, three is ionic, four is ionic, five is ionic, six is ionic, seven is covalent, eight is ionic, nine is ionic, ten is ionic. On the right hand side, 11 is covalent, 12 is ionic, 13 is covalent, 14, rubidium is on the left side, that's ionic, ionic, magnesium, ionic, strontium, metal, ionic, 18, 3 atoms, ionic, 19, 3 atoms, ionic, and then 20, arsenic is on the right hand side, that's covalent. <coughs> We will name these in groups because that helps you keep the same set of rules multiple times in a row. Ionic compounds, name the cation, name the anion. For us, after the first atom, um, that's where you split the two cations, anions. First atom is going to be your cation. Second atom is your anion. Or the second portion of your formula is your anion. If you don't know the names of these, you need to look them up. Use your resource. On the left-hand side is going to be your cation, and the right-hand side is your anion. So Al is aluminum, Cl is chloride, Ca is calcium, SO4 is sulfate, Ga, gallium. That's one that we don't use often. You might have to look that up on your periodic. Cl is chloride. Li is lithium, PO4 is phosphate, a polyatomic ion, BA is barium, CO3 is carbonate, also a polyatomic ion. The last three letters of each name is very important to write clearly. AL is aluminum. SO4 is sulfate. Skip the covalent, lithium, and then fluoride. Remember to split the formulas after the first atom, so K is called potassium. HCO3 is bicarbonate. Zn is zinc, I is iodide. Going to the right hand side of part one, skip the covalent. Um, silver, Ag is silver, full name, NO3 is nitrate, ATE ending. Make sure the suffixes of these names are written clearly. Covalent skip, I, RB is rubidium. Now, we don't use rubidium much, but you can look up that symbol, RB, on your periodic table and find that and get the name. AG is silver. Just got done using that one. Column 12, O is oxide. MG is magnesium. SO4 is sulfate, polyatomic ion. You can look that up. And we're just putting formulas after the metal, after the first atom there, to the first symbol. SR is strontium. NO3 is nitrate. ATE ending, make it clear. ZN is zinc. CO3 is carbonate. I, 
what controls ionics. Uh, sodium. Oops. NO2, nitrite. Reasons why I'm making sure those last three letters are very clear. Ite and ate sound the same. They're very similar. And then we have a covalent. Uh, using these subscripts for prefix, we have two, which means di, five is penta. So di, full first name, phosphorus. Penta is going to get to just pent oxide. Number 11 over here, we have no prefix, selenium, hexa for six, hexa fluoride. Dinitrogen, prefix for two. Oops. Dinitrogen, tri for three. Sulfide. And down at the bottom, uh, no prefix, just arsenic. Try. And then here we actually double I. I O died. Yeah, that's the top half. Bottom half. We want to, again, identify do we have an ionic compound or a covalent compound? It doesn't say to do that specifically, but that's the pattern that we've used during this unit. So look in these names for prefixes. Put a C next to anything that has a prefix. No prefix, prefix. No prefix, no prefix. Oh, there's a prefix. There's a prefix. Uh, here's a prefix, and then no prefix. The remaining are going to be ionic. So we're identifying the easier to see. Prefixes are pretty easy to see. So we look for those first. <clears throat> then let's do all ionic again. So we keep the same set of patterns and make these simpler by breaking them down. BE is BE plus two. That might be hard to know. Find the name beryllium. It's a group two. It's a plus two ion. I is minus one. The two comes subscript on I. Zn is plus 2, Cl is minus 1, Zn, Cl sub 2. Skip 23 because that's covalent. Ca is plus 2, Cl is minus 1. Crisscross the 2 on the Cl. Potassium is plus 1, O is minus 2. And I know these from the group numbers that each of these atoms lives in. Mg is plus 2, S is minus 2, group 2, group 6, plus 2, minus 2, cancel. On the right-hand side, Ca is plus 2, hydroxide is OH, it's a minus 1. Ca, OH, 2, but then we need parentheses around the polyatomic ion. Strontium is Sr plus 2, bromide is Br minus 1, Sr, Br, sub 2, crisscross the 2. Barium is a group 2, plus 2 ion. Chromate is a uh, polyatomic ion, ATE ending. Plus 2, minus 2, cancel. Sodium is Na plus 1. Nitrite is NO2 minus 1. NaNO2 plus 1, minus 1, cancel. Skip 34 for the moment. Al is a plus 3. Carbonate is a minus 2, AlCO3, and again, taking these charges and crisscrossing them. For the names, write down the symbols, carbon, no prefix, uh, means subscript 1, di, sulfides S2, C, S, sub 2. Dinitrogen, prefix 2, nitrogen's N, pent is 5, Oxides O, N, sub 2, O, sub 5. Nitrogen, just atom N, tri is 3, chloride Cl, N, Cl, subscript 3. 
dye arsenic. Dye is 2. Arsenic is A. Ah, it's not to be confused with argon. You can look it up on your periodic. Tri is 3. S is S. So AS subscript 2. S subscript 3. And lastly, silicon is SI. 4 is tetra. I is uh, iodide. SI, big I, four. So it's important. S, lower capital S, lowercase I, capital I, subscript four. And that's it.